All right, guys, what's up? My name is Mitchell Reese, and I am your Cedar City Realtor. Today, we're just going to jump right in with a Cedar City market update. So let's stop wasting time. Let's jump right in and share some numbers. So just to start off with listing prices, the median sales price has jumped up, actually. It's increased from 330000 to 351000 Kind of surprising for the current market right now, but maybe... It's just something that happens every 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 few months, even though the tre overall trend is is downward, or maybe it's a sign of uh, temporary price increases as the spring market comes when a lot of people are looking to buy and, and move into a new house. So we'll keep an eye on that for the next market update. But yeah, surprising result um, of the median sales price going up from 330 to 351k. Inventory keeps on going down. So we used to have just under seven months of inventory ahead of us, but we have just under six with 5.77 months of inventory. They say a buyer's market is when there's about six months or more of inventory, but with the current situation, it's definitely still a buyer's market. Closing costs are being covered by the seller. Buyers have a lot of the power right now. So a little bit more evidence of the spring market coming and uh, what we might see, we'll take a look at the days on market. So for the month of November, it was 102.9 days. December, it was 96.2 days. And it dropped again down to 83.5 for the month of January. So homes aren't staying on as long, but that's still pretty long. But if we keep seeing that trend with spring coming around, um, that would that would kind of make sense as to what's going on right now. With all this being said, I could see a couple different things happening. So just like I said, we saw a rise in, in the median price in Cedar City. And I could see that either kind of staying still through spring and then afterwards uh, continuing to go down with the market softening. Or we could see it keep going up for the next few months through spring and then, you know, continue to soften. So either way, um, with having very little listings. I, I can't see like a crash, but um, continue softening and correction. So we'll see what that means in the next few months for you buyers and sellers. But right now it's, it's still a buyer's market. Um, I just had a client close where they're getting their closing costs covered. Um, wasn't even a hard thing to negotiate for. They accepted it immediately. And uh, it's a great time for buyers. So even though used houses, there's not as many on the market, there's still tons of new construction going on, which is my personal favorite to help you guys out with. Um, and they're covering more than what a typical seller might cover with closing costs or rate buy downs. I see up to $20,000 being covered. And just like I love to say, the pick of the litter is right now when it comes to new construction. There's a lot of lots available, but like I said, with the city expanding, with Southern Utah expanding, they aren't going to last forever. So come and act now. Uh, give me a call um, or email me and we'll get you in that new house. So I hope I hope this information helps you guys out. Let me know what, uh, what more information you would like to know from me in the next market update. But that is what we have for you today in our monthly market update. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.